Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming back with a new video on a cheap backdrop idea. Now, if you haven't seen my last video of how I show you how to make a backdrop using plastic tablecloths, be sure to check that out. But this way, it's a similar way, but actually I think this way is a little better. And the reason I say that is because the last method is like using like tape, but this way I have these clips that I am going to use. And you guys, these are nothing but curtain rod clips. So they have the little piece right here to clip right onto your curtain or backdrop or whatever you're gonna use. But I'm, again, I'm using this plastic tablecloth from Dollar Tree. They're cheap, it's a dollar, you can use them. And the way I, because you're using these um, clips, you can reuse these um, plastic tablecloths for other projects or anything. And with my previous method, once you tape it, it's pretty much done because again, they're cheap tablecloths. Once you try to take that tape off, they rip. But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use these curtain rod clips and it's amazing, guys. So if you're interested in seeing, keep watching. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm probably gonna use about 10 clips on one tablecloth. So I'm just trying to keep it even and not have any gaps. I'm going to take the clip and I'm going to put one in the center of the tablecloth. And with the way that the tablecloths are folded up in the Dollar Tree um, bag, you can kind of tell like where the center is because it has that crease right down in the center. So I have one in the center. I'm gonna put one at the very end. Another one at the other end. And then I'm just gonna work my way in so that I kind of keep the spacing kind of equal. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna keep doing that. And once I finish, I'm gonna show you how I hang it up on my backdrop stand. And again, because I'm all about being budget friendly and trying to do things on the cheap, if you don't have a backdrop stand like I have, you can create one. Check out my other video on how to make a backdrop stand using PVC pipe. The, it probably only costs you less than $10 to make a backdrop stand. And you can make many of them. All right, so let me go ahead and continue adding these clips. All right, so I'm just gonna be very careful because again, it still is a Dollar Tree uh, tablecloth and it will rip on you. So I'm just going to gather up all my hooks very slowly. And that way I can just slide all these on my backdrop stand in one shot. So again, on my, back, on my, on my um, tablecloth, I have about 10 rings. And you can add more or less as you like. I found out by adding 10, it doesn't create that droopy look in between. When I had less on here, it um, kind of drooped down at the top and I don't like that look. All right, so now I'm gonna hang it up. All right, so now I have all my hooks. They're ready to just be slid on the pole. slide it over.
And there it is, you guys. I have it all hung up. And I have my $2 worth of tablecloths. And then I have my um, curtain rings right here. And again, I'll put a link in the description below of where I got these from. And this was so easy, you guys. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. I've been hanging up plastic backdrops forever and, and taping these things, which is also a great alternative if you don't want to spend the extra money on these clips. But if you um, want something that's pretty easy to do and you need to reuse your tablecloths for other projects or crafts or whatever, then this is a very good option. So I hope this video was useful. Please don't forget to check out my other videos, especially my other DIY on using um, uh, using the tape method for doing this. Um, using the tape method for doing this same type of project. And that is it. And you guys, this will also be great for not only birthday parties, um, but if you have YouTube videos, you need to hang up a backdrop. I mean, for anything. Um, photography you know if you need like something very cheap easy so there's all kind of things you can do with this so i hopefully so hopefully this will you so hopefully you found this useful and don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and i will chat with you in the next one take care take care